What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday, and I know, like, Wednesday I kind of do whatever I want to, and this weekend there's actually a regional that's going on, it's Vancouver Regionals, and, I mean, we could talk about, like, how you could play Volcanian, the Speed Volcani deck that won, like, two weeks ago, or you could play the Guardi deck with Sylveon and that kind of stuff, uh, or you can, I mean, we can talk about Glisspod, the same old stuff that we talk about, but I'm actually going to talk about a really interesting deck that actually might be a good play for this weekend, and, uh, why not? Edwater wants me to help showcase it. We're going to showcase it today. He wants me to play his deck. We're going to show it off today. Maybe it's a play for this weekend. If you don't know what you're playing for Vancouver, I think it's Vancouver Regionals. Um, maybe try this deck out. And like I said, I could break down different Guardi decks and different Volcanian deck and different Gallispod decks. Deck we, decks we've seen over and over again. But today, let's go over something totally different. That might be a surprise play for this weekend. And that is going to be the Zygarde Garboder deck. Now, Zygarde uh, EX, he's an EX, not a GX, has 190 HP, has Land Pulse, does 20. If there's Stadium Card play, does 20 more damage to 40. Cell Storm 60, he'll 30 for his Pokemon, and Lands Wrath for 100 damage. Uh, grass weakness is uh, his weakness is grass, so Glisspod is definitely one of your harder matchups. Uh, but besides that, you should technically be able to beat everything else. So 190 HP, so he's he's you know he's a little tanky. Uh, you play Fighting Fury Balls to give him 40 more HP. Uh, so now he's at 230. You're really not going to commit too many energies to it. You, like, need two for Cell Storm. Uh, Land Pulse, just 20, 40. Uh, with Strong Energy, 60. With Fighting Fury Belt, 70. And uh, basically what the whole deck kind of uh, revolves around is just healing your Zygarde's over and over again. You play four Ace Rolls to pick up back into your hand. You play two Super Scoop Ups to flip a coin of heads. Um, return a Pokemon to your hand. You got the Cell Storm, which can heal 30 damage from your Zygarde. Um, and you're really not committing that many energies. You need two, so Guardi's doing base 60. And if you notice, there's two Garbodor deck in the, and two Garbodor Garbotox in this deck. It does, you know, shut down abilities. We are playing eight tools, so we're gonna able. We're pretty much gonna shut tools off forever. Yeah, they can play like two field blowers, get rid of that. But once that happens, they're gone forever. And Garbodor shuts down like Volcanium. It shuts down. Uh, it shuts down Guardi. It shuts down Greninja. It shuts down all those abilities decks down pretty well. So that's fantastic. And uh, against those evolution decks, it's just Metagross down too, um, so it's really nice. It counters all the big ability decks because of Garbodor. Um, it's got Espeon EX as well. It's got that Miraculous Shrine. So if they retreat instead of a new Pokemon, you don't have to waste a Guzma. You can just save it later on in Miraculous Shrine. And that's the great thing about Espeon. Out of nowhere, you can drop it. Miraculous Shrine and Diavolve's Pokemon. He also plays one top of Coco. Um, that flying flip doing 20 damage everywhere could be very useful. Uh, put some damage on the board. And maybe start taking some knockouts with Zygarde. Uh, and, yeah, and of course, three Lele to help set up. All right, so one Enhanced Hammer, discard a Special Energy, one Field Blower, um, one <clears throat> Rescue Stretcher, okay? Uh, one Special Charge, give back those Special Energies like your Strong and or DCs. Two Super Scoop Up, we already talked about this, uh, for Ultra Ball. Now, he's going to play a, a unique split. Edwater always plays these, like, really interesting uh, splits. Uh, he didn't hit Pat on, he's doing it now. Uh, played one Brooklyn Hill. To search for a, a basic water or fighting Pokemon and two Po Town, uh, so your Pokemon take three damage counters if you evolve them. I personally would play like three Po Town. I'd probably just play like maybe two Field Blower, maybe two Enhanced Hammer instead. Uh, but he's going with the one one split, the two one split. That's a water though. Uh, so for a Cerula, uh, return one Pokemon back in your hand. Three Guzma. We're gonna try to take those knockouts if we need to. Four in, four second more. Uh, four Fighting Fury Belts, of course, to get our Zygarde's a ton of more HP. Uh, four Flowstone to give those Garbodor a free treat. Uh, four Strong Energy, so your Fighting Pokemon do 20 more damage to the active. Four DCE and four Fighting Energy. Now, what I'm going to do today is just play three games straight up. I'm not going to edit them. We're just going to go into it and see what happens. It's basically what we do for Saturday, but I want to post a video for Wednesday. And we're going to find out if this Zygarde deck actually good or not. So let me let me do some stuff real quick. Let me fix the screen. So we'll, we'll turn this over here. We'll, we'll put that on the main screen. Uh, we'll move my head and let's, let's get it to Oh, hold on. Come on now. Let's get it. Oh, they're looking there. We're floating across the screen. That was beautiful. All right, so click save. I already have it saved as Zygarde. Uh, we go to Versus. Um, and let's see. We need to go to Standard. All right, so there's Zygarde. So there is Zygarde. So we're going to play it three games straight up. Not going to stop. We're just going to see what happens. And we're playing against Eskabu. Oh, no. Uh, this could already be a bad matchup from the start. Playing against a Galissapod deck. Oh, man. Uh, so we'll call Heads Like Always, okay? 
So we lost a coin flip going second. Maybe one thing we could potentially do is maybe like de evolve all of his Pokemon. I don't know. Um, it's just Zygarde has that grass weakness, which is going to kill us. All right, so we see Zygarde coming up. All right, how what do we do from here? So press done. Okay, I'm gonna move my screen up too. All right, there we go. I can see it better now. And there's Tapu Bulu. Oh no. Okay, so <clears throat> the bad thing about Tapu Bulu. Um, I mean, yeah, we can get, we get the Garbodor out right and stuff like that, but he doesn't have to discard the energies to one-shot us. You know what I mean? Like, he can just be like, all right, I'm just going to knock you out this turn. So we type like a Coco, okay. Um, Coco still gets knocked out by Nature's Judgment. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. We're going to Ultra Ball, uh, discard the Guzma and Tapu Coco. And what I'm going to do is grab a Tapu Lele. I'm gonna grab a Lele here, okay? So grab a Lele, we'll put down the Lele, use a Wonder Tag, yes. We will search for an N. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab an N here. He has too many cards in his hand, we're gonna N it. I'm gonna put a Floatstone to the active. Okay, Floatstone to the active. DC to the bench, Fear Belt to the Tapu Lele, and play an N, looking for a Trubbish or another Ultra Ball. And we do not find one, unfortunately. All right, so we'll retreat, and we'll just go for that energy drive for 70, thanks to that fighting fear belt. So, yeah, we'll go for 70. Oh, do we put down Potown? Um, I don't know if Potown really matters right now, so I don't want to put it down. I kind of just, I don't think he plays any stadiums, though. So, we'll put down Potown regardless, and we'll go for the energy drive for 70 damage. Now, if he commits the energy to the active, we can actually knock it out. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Uh, we'll just need one energy of our own. There's his own Bulu coming down. Does he have the rare candy? Nope. Going to put a grass in the active. We might just see a horn attack here. Um, and if he goes for that, there's a choice band going to the bench. There's an end. We both get new hands of sex. I was going to say what we could do is just ace roll, pick up the top of the layla, put it back in our hand, snip the new Zygarde and, and conserve it. But there's the Trubbish. There's a Floodstone. Alrighty. So we're looking good to go. There's another uh, another little guy, a little grubber coming down. There's a gr uh, horn attack for 30 damage. So on our turn, we get a DC, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and that's enough for a knockout. So put down Trubbish, we'll put a Floodstone on it, put a DC on the active, and I'm just going to Energy Drive for the knockout right now. Yeah, we're just going to Energy Drive for the knockout, going down to four prize cards. So two cards coming to our hand, we get a Rescue Stretcher and a DC. So if he does take a knockout on the <laughs> Lele, we'll be able to put the Lele back in our hand and put a DC on it. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Uh, he does hit the discard the energies with Bulu, so that's really nice. Uh, I mean, yeah, so maybe we do have answer for Grass Pokemon in the form of Tapu Lele. All right, so there we go. All right, so yeah, we're already looking good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, okay, there's a Lightning to the active. And there's a Horn Attack for 60 damage. All right, so on our turn, do we have it? Can we put that the DC down? Take a knockout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, no, we'll put it on the Trubbish. We'll put a Fighting Energy on the Zygarde, and we are going to, I think, just Sycamore, because I really want to find, I really, really want to find a Garbodor to, to turn on our abilities. And we find a Garbodor. There we go. So put down the Garbodor. All right. So put down the Garbodor. Uh, take 30 Proton. That's fine. We'll go for Energy Drive, all right? And what we can do next turn is put a Strong Energy on the Zygarde and take a Knockout. All right, so we got Garbodor, Garbotoxin up. We're good to go. All right, so all of a sudden, I thought we were in a bad match, and now we're all set to turn it good. Oh, there we see Top of Wilderness GX, though, for the knockout. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Healing 130 damage. Uh-oh. All right, so set up Zygarde. All right, so this is where it becomes bad. All right, so we get a Sycamore. Mm. All right, so we'll go for in here. Okay, yes, that's fine. We need another Lele. That is what we need. All right, so we do not find a Lele. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, we can sell Storm for 80. Okay. And the 2040... And then if we find a Lele, we'll be able to take a knockout on the Tapu Bulu. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we'll put a Fighting Engine in the active. I'm going to go for that sell Storm. Do an 80. And if we find a uh, Lele somehow, we'll be able to take a knockout on this Bulu. All right, so he, he'll be able to just—he—he he doesn't have to discard energy. They receive a rare candy Vika Volt coming down. All right, but do we get lucky? 
uh, Tepic and Ultra Ball. I'm fine with like using Ultra Ball, discarding both these guys. They receive Nature Judgment, doing 300 damage, taking a knockout, going down to two prize cards. All right, so <laughs> my fear has became reality. We'll send up Guard Boater. Maybe shouldn't have discarded that Rescue Stretcher. Maybe should have held on to it. They receive a Guzma. Um, I'm going to Super Scoop up to pick up the, just pick up a Pokemon. All right, so heads. We'll pick up the Guard Boater, send the Trubbish. All right, so send a Trubbish with Flowstone, put down Garbodor. I'm just basically, uh, what I was doing was just uh, thinning my deck down uh, just in case. Because we're in here, I definitely don't want to draw back into that Super Scoop Up. And we find an E-Hammer, which doesn't help us. Super Scoop Up, Acerella. Oh, no. All right, so retreat into the Trubbish. We will pass into our opponent's turn. Uh-oh. This is not good news, guys. There's a Lightning to the Big Vault. We'll see a Flowstone going to the Big Vault. We'll see a Nature's Judgment. Uh-oh. All right, top decks, guys. What do we find here? Uh, we have two Sycamores left in the deck. We have one in, one DC as well. And we find a Field Blower. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be game with Super Scoop Up. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. All right, so heads, he wins the game. All right, so, uh, yeah, I think the one turn we sh maybe had messed up on was uh, discarding that, that the uh, the good old uh, rescue stretcher, stuff like that. But I really wanted to get the lock online, so that's why I kind of kept it. Um, so, yeah, here we go to game number two. We're playing against Greninja. All right, so Greninja should be better, right? Like, we, we're playing against water. Yeah, it's, it's you know, Greninja hits hard, but we do have multiple... Multiple Flowstones and those Garbodor or Gobber Toxins. So let's see if this matchup is a little bit different. Okay. All right. All right. This hand is... Wow. Four Fighting Fear Bells. Thank you, PTTGO. All right. So press done. And, um... Yeah. We'll see what happens here. What do we find? So there's a Staryu. And there is a Rescue Stretcher. Well, I'm just going to start off with N. I really don't want to Ultra Ball discard any of that stuff in my hand. I kind of need it all, and this hand's a little bit better, but still not the best at all. Like, it's pretty bad, to be honest. Um, but what we can do is Ultra Ball. Mmm. Man. We can discard the Special Charge and Zygarde. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to discard these two. I'm going to grab a Trubbish. I'm going to put down the Trubbish, Flowstone the Trubbish, Fighting the Active, and pass onto our opponent's turn. Alright, so what this does is we can take a knockout next turn with Lele. You know, we can energy for 40 for the knockout. If he puts out a Froakie with energy, we can take a knockout on that as well. But he might go for a bubble play, I'm not sure. Uh, so there's a splash and you're going to the Froakie. And we see an in. Wow, we had one card in the hand and he end us. I mean, he didn't know what was in our hand, so you can't blame him. Uh, and we see a Brooklyn Hill. Alright, so we're good to go now. We found some resources we can use. I don't know if I want to put down the Brooklyn Hill, though. Like, doesn't seem that good to put down. Uh, we see Ultra Ball. This kind of double water energy. This will most likely find another, uh, Froki. So you yeah, see a Froki coming down. And I wonder if he's going to treat to this Froki, go to the bubble play, try to paralyze us, or will he set up this Froki and, uh, just like, oh, no, he's going to sit, this leaves a, okay, that's fine with me. Uh, with Hand Stamper, discard the Splash Energy. We'll put down Poe Town. We'll put a Fighting Fear on the active. And we're just going to go for Juniper, or Sycamore. Discard our hand, draw on 70 card. We will lose both of our Super Scoop Us, but we do find a Fighting Energy. We can put down the active. Uh, put down a Trubbish. I know we'll need to get down Garbodor right now. I'm going to wait to get the Garbodor out. We're just going to Energy Drive for the knockout. Going down to five prize cards. All right, so there we go. Going down to five prize cards. We find it in. All right, so next turn, we can get down the Garbodor. Um, what I really need to find is a Zygarde. So we might Ultra Ball for Zygarde. It's not a bad thing. Here comes Froakie. 20, 40, 60. We're taking a knockout thanks to the Fighting Fury Belt. Poe Town would actually take a knockout as well. Never mind. He's Evo Soding, so that's not going to matter. So Frogadier coming down. Okay. Uh, Water to the active. And an N. Now this N is very dangerous for my opponent. He could draw into multiple Frogadiers, and this Water Duplicate is becoming useless. All right, so we see a Fighting Fury Belt and a Strong Energy. They will see another Greninja coming out, taking that 30 from the uh, Poe Town. All right, they will see Water Duplicate's going to search out some multiple frogs. And it, wow, he I, either he drew them all or I don't know. All right, so 
That's fantastic. So we'll play in. We're already taking a knockout regardless. We just need to put energy on our Lele. And we find the energy, but it's not the energy we want. Um, I'm going to Ultra Ball discard the Guzma and Tapu Koko. I think I am just going to grab the Garbatox and Garboder. And put that down. And just swing. I'm going to take a knockout with the... Okay, I know I take 30. We'll do energy drive for the knockout, okay. We're doing 24 to 60, 70. We'll go down to five prize... Oh, four prize cards, sorry. There's a flow stone, really not needed. Okay, here comes the frog of deer. And let's see, what does he have here? Um, if he evolves into Greninja, he'll take another 30 damage, which is great. It'll bring him up to 60, then 20, 40, 60. Um, 70 plus 60 is 130. So we actually be able to take a knockout on this Greninja when it evolves into it, unless he finds another Eva Soda. So we get 40 cards. We get a Lele, which we can't use. There's a Greninja come down, and he will get bopped by that Potown, having 70 HP left. And, it, and Lele will be able to knock it out. And then we're going to see a Moonlight Slash for 680 damage. And we're going to take a knockout here. All right, so we get a Lele, and there's a Victor Screen. Actually, we wouldn't have taken a knockout. So I don't know why he conceded there. Um, but yeah, that, that, that turn was going to be really weird because we had like two Lele's and no supporter card. So that's one of the downside of you playing like Garbage of your own. But let's let's go to game number three, guys. Let's, but you can see why that matchup was pretty good. Like you have the Garbodors, you know, shut down abilities forever. Um, so yeah, game number one was kind of iffy. Like we definitely some question that one questionable second one. But here we go, game number three. We're playing against Fire, and Fire is definitely one of the big decks right now. Um, it did win regionals. You know, Fire is going to be everywhere. And let's see, can we take down Fire or not? That is going to be the big, big question. So we see a coin flip here. We lost the coin flip. We'll be going second. Um, which is, I don't know. It's, it gives them a chance to do some stuff. Um, we start Coco, which is what I kind of want to start with. We'll put down Zygarde. Of course, Potown is definitely 100% useless in this matchup. It does nothing for us. There's no evolution cards for my opponent. Um, so yeah. So we see, oh, a Salandite. So it's the Ho-Oh Salazzle deck, um, which is a little bit different. It is a little bit different. Uh, can we take a knockout with this guy? Four, five, six, seven? We actually can. We actually can take a knockout with this Zygarde. All right, so we see Flowstone going to the active. Does he retreat to a Ho-Oh GX? There's a Guzma. I'm gonna bring over a Zygarde, and we're gonna see a pass onto our turn. All right, so we type like a second more. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball, discarding the Guzma and the Ace Cirilla. Uh, we are going to discard our only rescue stretcher, but that's fine. We'll grab the Trubbish. We'll put down the Trubbish. <laughs> we'll put down Potown. And we will just Sycamore discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Do we hit a strong energy? Okay, we don't have the knockout. So we'll put a Zygarde down. We'll put a fight energy in the active. And we'll go for Lance Pulse for 40 damage. But my opponent doesn't really have anything, so we'll see what happens here. I'll our opponent's turn. Uh, we got a DCE, so we can't go for that Cell Storm turn 2. Do a 60, knock out the Slandite. And uh, just proving, you know, Big Basics is back in action. Uh, so what does he have here? Uh, there we see Salazzo GX coming down. Okay. Uh, taking that damage. He has 130 HP left. And there we see a Sycamore discarding. Oh, two Max Luxers and a Flowstone and another Guzma. Uh, you can see why he wanted to hold on to that hand. Uh, we see a Volcanion come down. Fire to to that Volcanion. Uh, Star you coming down. All right, we'll see a Orangaroo coming down as well. Okay, a little bunch of stuff coming down to the field. Uh, here comes the Volcanion. There's no Fire Energy in the discard pile, so this Power Heater is not going to really accomplish anything. We will be able to Cell Storm actually heal that 20 damage off, which is fantastic. So on our turn, we get a, a Trubbish. We'll put it on the Trubbish. Put a DC in the active. And we'll go for that Cell Storm for 60. Heal that 20 off the uh, Zygarde. Uh, if we find a Strong Energy, or I mean a Belt, we can knock out the Volcanion next turn. Uh, if we find a Garbodor, that'd be even more better. We see a Starmie coming down with that Space Beacon ability. They ever see a Fire Energy on that Salazzle GX. And they ever see a Struck for one card. I wonder if he has an in, in hand that doesn't want to play it because we didn't do anything with their hand. Maybe he doesn't have anything. and he Okay, th there's an in. you got to think he had the in and want to like try to hit a Sycamore. And that's why he went that way. Uh, okay, so we hit... Double Flowstone uh, Garbodor. We see a Turtonator GX coming down, okay. But does he have a Fire Energy to discard? If he does not, this is, this turn is going to be not for nothing. We'll be able to heal that damage off again. Uh, we see a Max Elixir. Going to put a Fire Energy on that Turtonator GX. 
And yeah, what else is going to happen here? They were seeing fighting people going to the bench. Turtonator. Uh, hold on, I got a text message, guys. Sorry about that. All right, so 20 damage to our active Zygarde. On to our turn. We top deck the Fear Belt. So put down the Fear Belt. We'll put down the Garboder. Uh, we'll put down a uh, Floatstone. Floatstone. I should have probably played the Lele first uh, to grab a second more. But I'm going to put down the Lele. Put a DC on it. Yeah, I definitely should have like grabbed a Sycamore but instead of playing this in. But it's fine. I mean, we're still like doing okay here. We see Super Scoop up and another Garbodor. So we're going to have double Garbodor coming down this turn. Uh, let's put down another Garbodor. And we'll be able to use that Cell Storm for the knockout. There we go. So they're going to knock out. I guess we should maybe like Field Blower first. But I, I kind of want to see the Field Blower for the uh, the belt on that guy. So Strong Energy, come at your hand. Oh, to our opponent's turn. Let's see what is going to happen. Now he might... Okay, so here comes Salazzle. We might see a Queen Haze here. Discard all the energy off our active Zygarde. But we have another Strong Energy, so I'm not too concerned about that. We see a Max Elixir. Uh, Going to put energy on that Turtonator GX. There we see a Ho GX coming down. All the all the little France coming line. There's a Field Blower. I wonder what he's going to get rid of. Probably the Fighting Throw of the active. Definitely seems really nice. And then maybe a Flustone and Garbodor? Or does he go for a double Garbodor here? All right, nope. Going to go for one of the Flustones and the Fighting Fear Belts. All righty. And uh, does he have a Fire Digi for that Queen's Haze? He cannot use that Space Beacon, which is really nice for us. Um, and yeah, we're looking good. You know, Turtonator's not taking a knockout either. Um, so that's really nice. He only does 160. And there we see N. So we'll get five cards. He gets six. He get rid of our, both of our strong energies and our ace Cirilla. I really wanted the Lands Wrath for the knockouts. All right. Oh, no. My, my, my game is glitching again, guys. Oh, Pokemon. No, don't do this to me again. All right. So we see a, a Fire Energy going down to Turtonator. There we see a Field Blower. Get rid of the Flowstone off our Garboder. But I can't see my cards. <laughs> no, we're going to lose because of the glitch. Oh, I don't know why this glitch has been happening. All right, so he gets rid of our Flowstone. He gets rid of something else. Oh, the Fear Belt. There's a Flowstone going. Oh, that's a Choice Ban. And that is actually going to be a knockout with the Bright Flame attack. Oh, man. All right, so here comes the Terminator. So all of a sudden, everything has changed. Um, yeah, this is not good. There's another Pokemon coming down as well. I have no idea what that is. I uh, instruct for one. Oh, my goodness. This is not good, guys. I don't know why I can't see anything. Pokemon, please help me. Please, Pokemon. All right, Bright Flame for the knockout. All of a sudden, my opponent has turned the game on us, uh, going down to four prize cards. That double Tool Scrapper play there, or double Field Blower play. So, on our turn, one, two, three, four, five. We get an Ace Roll. I don't even know what these cards are. Like, I really want to know what these cards are. One could be a Floatstone. Can I attach it? <gasps> okay, can't attach the Garb. That's a supporter card. This card's definitely blank, so put a DC in the active. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna Lele here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. We gotta make a guess here. Is this an in or is this an in? <laughs> Alright, I think this is an in. I think it's alphabetical if I remember correctly. Alright, this could be the biggest misplay of my life. I can't, can I play the card? I can play the card. Alright, it's an in. <laughs> Oh no, PDC Joe's crashing. No. <laughs> oh no. No. Oh my goodness. He put down a Volcanian too. I didn't even see him put down a Volcanian. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's okay. All right. So it crashed. It crashed. PDC Joe crashed, guys. All right. Let, give me one second. Let me. Let me. Goodness gracious. I don't know what would happen. I don't know who would win that game, but, um,. Yeah, let's okay. We're gonna play one more game. We're gonna play. We're gonna do this one more time. Goodness gracious, what just happened there? I don't even know. Like PGCO just crashed on me for no reason, no reason at all. All right, whatever PGCO. Thank you for playing today. Everybody want to see that game? How it's gonna turn out? And that that's my life right there. While according to Pokemon is uh, my games crash sometimes like that. So we're back in it. Let's let's turn the window capture back on. All right, so let's let's play one more game. Let's let's pretend that game didn't count. I apologize, guys. I really do apologize. My opponent had a crazy turn there. Double Fuel Blower to knock out our... <laughs> Double Fuel Blower and discarded his own uh, floats. I know. He discarded his own Fighting Fuel Blower to attach a Choice Band to knock us out. That's what happened. 
All right, so here we go. All right, Duru Killer is playing a grass deck, and it's Glisspod. All right, all right. How do we? I, I don't think we take that Glisspod. I don't. So I guess that the game crashing everything that means we shouldn't play this deck, is what I'm thinking. All right. Because we get a bowling gun press done. <laughs> All right, but we got this, guys. We got this. Come on, baby. Let's show. I mean, he's playing a Crosma sleeve, so maybe it's an Crosma. Maybe. All right, they got some. They got multiple Pokemon. They got an Crosma. They got the Pikachu coin. I actually have that Pikachu coin in real life. It is lovely. I love flipping that coin. It's like really big. That's why I like it. It's like a fat coin. Uh, I like it. So here we go. Here we go. Take two. Take two. We do get hit at Zygarde. Actually, I think, okay, no, we only got Mulligan once. All right, so we start Zygarde, but our hand is not so great, unfortunately. Okay, so press, done. All right, so let's see here. What do we get? 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 Okay, so there's a Wimpod. I mean, we can knock out a Wimpod turn one. Um... We really can. Like, we 100% can knock out a Wimpod. Uh, but I think this is a sign to us guys that we sh you maybe should play Zygarde this weekend. Like, it does seem really good on paper. But, like, we've hit back-to-back -back, um, bad matchups. So that's not good. Right? So does he have Rainbow? Did you go on the active? Okay, but just pass. Come on, pass. Come on, pass. All right, so there's the end. We'll both get new because no Bridget for my opponent. That's really good for us. I mean, we've run a Lele and a DCE. We can knock out the Wimpod, which is really nice. And I think that's my strategy. So there's a Coco and an E-Hammer. We can discard that Rainbow Energy. Oh, he's got a Sneasel. All right, so Sneasel comes down. Alright, but we can knock out the Sneasel turn too. If he wimps out to the, the Sneasel and passes, we actually can just find an energy. And uh, we need energy in a stadium. Uh, we've got the E-Hammer as well, so we can discard the Rainbow Energy. So we'll see here. We'll see what happens. You just gotta believe, right? You just gotta believe, guys. And uh, maybe, okay, so retrace to the Sneasel. Alright, so we're looking good. That's what we want to see. We also have Coco, so maybe Flying Flip plus like... Nah, that's not enough. That's not enough. I was thinking like Flyfoot plus Potown might be able to knock out the Wimpod. Uh, Garbert is really not that useful in this matchup either. Uh, so, at first, I th thought he was playing Zark. So, I'm actually a little bit happier now that he's not. Uh, so, get down Trubbish. We'll get down the Top of Coco. We'll play the one E-Hammer, discarding that Rainbow Energy. And we'll play it in. We're looking for a strong energy or a Stadium plus an energy. And we don't hit either. So put down Zygarde, we'll put a DC on the Coco, we'll put down Potown, and we will press it down after our opponent's turn. I feel like Zygarde's about to lose. About to, Zygarde's about to get knocked out here, guys. <clears throat> Show me Weevil, Guzma, or Weevil, Glisspod, Grass Energy. If he has that combination, he will knock us out. Though Weevil does have free retreat. They receive a Grass Energy going to the Wimpod. Choice man to Wimpod, as it wasn't enough damage already. So now he's doing 300 to our Zygarde. There's a Jirachi coming down. Okay. Uh, Field Blower getting rid of the Potown. Lovely. 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 Alright. So Potown coming down. Making where he evolves. He does not take damage. That's kind of my out. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Choice Man to the bench. Jirachi. Okay. And there's a second more. Does he whiff it? Come on. We whiffed it. Don't let him get it either. Come on, Pokemon. Nope. There's a Ghost Pod. Alright. So Ghost Pod will come down. Lovely. There's a flow zone to the active. We'll see a retreat, and Glisspod will blow us up. All right, another Sneasel hit the field as well. Oh, goodness. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so. Well, we see 300 damage coming out from the uh, Glisspod. Thank you, Pokemon. All right, so send up Top of Coco. All right. All right, we got to believe, right, guys? So in our turn, we get a Floatstone. So Floatstone the Trubbish. We'll play it in. We get six new cards. He gets four. There's a belt, which means he can't knock us out immediately, so that's good, right? Um, so belt the active, like I said, means he can't knock us out. And I'm going to fly and flip here, do 30 to the active and 20 to all the bench. 
All right, so another opponent's turn. He could just, like, crossing cut GX, and this is, like, useless, and it doesn't really matter. Um, we could have put down Brooklyn Hill, but maybe he has, like, Rim Raid in his deck, and I really don't have a search on Rim Raid, so I'm going to hold the Brooklyn Hill in my hand right now. Uh, if he has a Guzman here, Guzman's up or a Zygarde. I'll just cry, I guess. Like, that's be really bad. I mean, real bad if he does that, actually. I mean, like, the worst thing that could happen. Pop my knuckle. It hurts. All right. But if he Guzma's here, um, <clears throat> nah, it doesn't matter. All right, so Grass Ninja Sneasel. Okay. So now he's not going to take a knockout this turn. No crossing cut GX attack, but does he have a Guzma in hand? That's the question. Um, but I mean, okay, so there's a, okay, there's a Sneasel. A Weavile coming down. It's got that rule of evil. It does 60. Everybody has an ability, both you and your opponents. We see another Wimpaw coming down. Okay. Man, if that Potown was down, that guy would be at 50 HP, and it would be good to go. But we see Sycamore. No Guzma. Our Topo Coco will stay alive. Thank you, Pokemon. Thank the Lord. All right, so there's another Weavile coming down. Okay. We'll probably see a first impression for 30. He can't touch a DC. He committed the Grass Energy to that Weavile. All right. So uh, <clears throat> we'll be able to do another Flying Flip, which means this Glisspot will have 70 HP on it. Okay. Um, we're going to end him. That's 100% sure we are, are going to end him. But what does he do here? Does he retreat to... I, he can't retreat either. He's already... He has that. And there he's the first person for 30. All right. So in our turn, what do we get? Do we get a fighting energy? So let's see. He can only do 120. Um, which does knock us out. So actually what we do is Ace Rolla. Pick up the uh, Hurt Top of Coco. We'll send in our Trubbish. Put down the Coco. Fury Belt, DCE, Retreat, and Flying Flip. I want him to waste his Crossing Cut GX attack on us. So do another Flying Flip. Doing 30, 20 to everywhere. Okay. I want our opponent's turn. How much H? So 70 HP. Man, if that Po Town was still down, we actually be in a really good spot because we could devolve a bunch of Pokemon and take a knockout. There we see Glisspod coming down. Okay. Um, Ace Roller could be really scary here as well. Um, that's another factor we have to worry about. There's a Rainbow to the active. All right, that's a good card for us. All right. Never see a choice band going to the uh, Weavile. Never see another fresh impression attack. All right, so onto our turn. Do we Lele for a Acerola? I really, really want to. I really want to go for this play. Yeah, I'm going to Lele. Yes. I am going to grab an Acerola. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 80. Hold on. If we 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Yeah, we're not taking a knockout yet. So we're going to Ace Rolla. Pick up that Hurt Top of Coco. We'll send in the Trubbish. We'll put down the Top of Coco. Put a DC on it. Put down a Fighting Fear Belt. Retreat. And we'll go for another Flying Flip. All right. So if we do one more Flying Flip, we'll be able to de-evolve all of his Sneasels. Uh, take two knockouts. Okay. All right, so we're looking good. We're actually looking kind of okay here. Um, Glisspot can't knock out our Coco, so that's good. If he has, like, an Ace Rolla here or something. Oh, no, now we're disconnecting. Now we're disconnecting from the internet. Everything just wants to go wrong for me today. All right, so never mind. We're good. <laughs> just kidding. We're okay. All right, so this is a DCC active. Will we see a Crossing Cut GX attack here? And, yeah, we're going to see a Crossing Cut. Going to waste this GX attack on us. And I wonder who he's going to send in. Anybody who he sends in, Lele is going to take a knock on him. Um, so yeah, 150, okay. Who, okay, I'm gonna send the Sneasel with the Floatstone. Alright, so we're gonna send in our, uh, Trubbish. And yeah, we're gonna end him down to three. So yeah, on our turn, what do we get? We get a Field Blower. Um, Field Blower doesn't really matter, but what I'm gonna do is Field Blower, get rid of the Choice Band and the Choice Band on these two. I'm going to put a D ceiling active, put down a Fighting Fear Belt on our Lele, and just play it in. Give us six new cards while he only gets three. All right, so there's a Garbodor, which actually Garbodor is going to be really, really useful right now. We get a Rescue Stretcher as well. But I think I'm still going to put down the Garbodor. Okay, so put down the Garbodor. We will retreat into the Lele, and we will go for Energy Drive for the Knockout. All right, so go down to five prize cards. Okay. Now he can't Lele for, like, Bridget. He can't, I mean, Lele for Ace Roller. He can't Lele for Guzma. He's already used one Field Blower. He probably plays two, but that's fine if he plays one right now. Okay. Let's see what happens here. If he sends up 
He's probably listening to Weavile. Weavile has free retreat. You just send it to free retreat. Weavile, that's 100% the correct play there. Um, it's not a bad idea at all. It's not a bad idea. It's definitely not a bad idea if he goes for that route. All right, so it's in the Weavile coming up. He can actually just use, like, Root of Evil and hit us for 60. Um, trying to set up a knockout with one of his uh, good old Gliss Pods. But what I'm planning on doing... I don't know if that's a good idea either. So is he even discard a bridge into something else? I wonder what he's going to give with the Ultra Ball. He can't Lele here. Hmm. Then there's a Lele. Alright, so rule evil for 60 on our Garbodor. Alright, so in our turn... All right, so I <laughs> uh, put down Shrubbish. I was like, hey, uh, buddy, there's a, there's a guy there on the bench. He's uh, kind of staring at you. All right, so I'm going to put a, a DC. I'm going to put a strong energy on the bench. And go for another energy drive. Okay, so there we go. Taking a knockout, going down to three. Ooh, I should. No, I can't. I maybe should have waited for the Espeon play and double D of all both these guys. Um, taking all the energies off the field. That's not a. That was not a but he does set up the Gliss Pod. We might see an Armor Press here. There's a Lele, which doesn't do anything. Whatever. Okay. Alright. So there's an Armor Press for 100. What do we top deck here? If we top deck an Ace Roller, we're good. Potown. Okay, Potown's not what I want to see. Um. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm still going to just, like, take a knockout of the energy drive. Okay, we're going to do, like, a billion damage. We're going to have two prize cards. I'm going to save the DCE because what I plan on doing is doing another flying flip and try to set up this glitch pot where he gets knocked out. So there's a Drachi, or a Lele coming up. It's not a Drachi, it's a Lele. <laughs> All right, so does he have a DC in hand? Nope, pass onto our turn. All right. So we get a Brooklyn Hill. So I'm going to Ultra Ball, uh, discarding the Ultra Ball and Ultra Ball. Uh, I don't know. I should have probably saved it. I don't know why I grabbed it too early. We're going to grab an Espeon. Okay. Um, I'm going to dis in our hand. Grab a Coco. All right. We'll put it on the Coco. We will retreat. I don't even know why I grabbed the Espeon. Definitely should have saved it. I guess I could say, like, oh, we we wanted to, like, wait a turn. We, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, we're putting down uh, Potown, and we're just going to flying flip here. I think that's fine. I think it's fine. We're just flying flipping. We'll take a knockout on the on Jirachi. Uh, one more hit on that Gliss Pod. We'll be able to knock it out. There's a Super Scoop Up. Okay. Uh, super Scoop Up really doesn't help us. It could have helped us if we would have held on to the Ultra Balls and Super Scoop Up, pick up the Garbodor, put it back down, and uh, Ultra Ball for Lele. But that's not going to work anymore. Uh, he's, he's, this close pod's almost knocked out, though. He has 10 HP left. Maybe should have played Special Charge last turn, put two DCs in our deck. Um, it's not a bad thing either. Uh, there's an Ace Roll. Pick up the Gliss Pod back in his hand. We're going to see it go back down. All right, so Wind Pod hit the field. Pass on to our turn. All right, so we get it in. I'm definitely not playing it in. Uh, we're going to Special Charge. Shuffle two DCs back in the deck. We're going to Fly Flip. Alrighty, so 2020. So he has 130 HP left. This guy will evolve. Take another 30. And then we'll fly and flip it again. Alrighty. So there's a good spot coming down. Does he have a way to pick up this Lele? It put an energy on this glow spot. So there's a rescue stretcher. Put a Pokemon in his hand. I do not care about that at all. Okay, so Wimpod going to his hand. Okay. Now, if he passes here, all we need is one energy for Espeon to be able to win the game. So, there's N. All right, so he's going to go to three. We're going to go to one. Does he find a Floodstone plus an energy? So, there's an Acerola. And, oh, man. There's a Special Charge. going to shuffle two Special Energies in his deck. Yeah, Acerola is not going to really do too much for us right now. So, DC and Rainbow going to his deck. Okay. How many Sycamores have we played? No Sycamores. There's a Guzma. Alright. So I'm going to Guzma, actually, and bring up this 
Glissapod. Um, what this does makes it where it's harder for him to take a knockout this turn because he has to find his own Glissapod. He can't. He has to find like multiple cards to retreat this Glissapod and do stuff. And I think that's a better play for sure. So under opponent's turn, yeah, because he has to find like Floatstone for Lele, Guzma, Energy. Okay. There we see a field blower getting rid of our Floatstone on our Garboder. And this is actually fine if he does this. If he does, if he actually does this play. If he field blowers our DC on our, our guy, what we can do is Ace Roll Lele, put it back down, search our deck for a. Yes! Oh my goodness! He does that and passes. So now I want to Ace Sorolla. Um. Pick up our Lele. I'm going to fly and flip. Alright, and next turn, what we can do is put down our Lele. Actually, I mean... <laughs> yeah, we're just going to Lele for a Guzma. Bring up his Wimpod to take a knockout with our Zygarde. That is the play next turn. Oh my goodness. How many Guzmas have we played? We've only got one Guzma. So, Choice Fancy active. There's an in. No, getting rid of our Lele for the Guzma play. All right, so he gets three cards. Once again, he's not going to be taking a knockout. There's a Sycamore going to our hand. All right, so we found Sycamore. So do we find an Espeon? There's a Lele. And we'll Lele for the Guzma for the game. I opponent saving us will with that Field Blower. Uh, so will Guzma bring up that Wimpod, use our Zygarde to take it a knockout. There we go, guys. We took down the evil Galissapod deck. Go, go, get him, Zygarde. Get him, buddy. Show him you're not scared. We'll land pulls for the knockout. Taking the game. And there we go, guys. Taking down one of our hardest matchups. And it's weak. But Lele here to save the day. And maybe that's how you play the deck. Uh, I guess against any grass deck, that's how you play it. So maybe it's actually good overall. I, I don't know. I do not know. I don't know, guys. But there we go today. Uh, we took down the Greninja deck. We were playing against the Volcanian, Slandite. And you saw what happened. Uh, in game number one, we played against Tapu Bulu. And we barely lost. Um, I, I would consider barely lost. I think we missed like an energy or something, if I remember correctly. It's been 40 minutes. We've been recording this for a good minute. But guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Wednesday. I don't know. It's nothing really. It's just, I guess, random Wednesday. I just wanted to show this deck off and see if it was actually good for regionals or not. That was a big question. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Shout out to Ed Water for sharing his list. Have a great Wednesday. Test the deck out and see if it's good or not. See if you like it. Maybe it is to play for Vancouver. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.